Hey, welcome to Salento with Love, episode five of Grotto Gasper. So much has been happening. Look at how these doors and windows that have been fitted now offer this very contemporary look on a building that is so historic, where that stone, that yellowness, you know, that beautiful Carparo, the beautiful Pietro Lecceso is coming through. And with this coffin, looking like this rusty metal, it really becomes a synergy, it really creates that beautiful synergy. I think we should go in. I think it's amazing. The floor has gone down this special 60 by 20 tiles with this concrete look have actually allowed us to achieve a very contemporary space creating that fantastic bond between the ancient time and the modern time, between the star-shaped ceiling offering that additional detail. Well, here at the moment where you see this pile of cardboards, which is some of the, the, the rubbish that needs to be removed after the tiling has just been completed, it will be a beautiful, huge 2.2 meter island actually right here in the center with the fridge going there and the dining table you just wait to see the finish on this property is going to be amazing and finally the vision of having a double side door here sliding coming out into a beautiful courtyard which we will see in a minute you can actually open it this way or this way Imagine you make yourself a coffee in the morning and then you step out into this wonderful courtyard. Sunday morning early. The reason why I'm here, I'm waiting for the tiler to arrive because tomorrow morning the uh, tiling is going to start and I need to spend quite a little bit of time trying to understand what's the best way of running the tiles. Now when you walk inside an environment or a space, you just look at the floor and you think, oh wonderful. But perhaps you don't appreciate the amount of effort that has gone in in Oh, it's nice and dark in here. The amount of effort that has gone in to make sure that the tiling actually works for the space. And when you're looking at an ancient space like this, where all the walls, they run into different angles, they go off site and they're not in line with the next one. So you really have to spend the time to divide your space because the moment the first tile goes down that's the one that is actually going to control the entire pattern. There is never a hundred percent solution because you're not working with a square box space. You are working with a space that is almost alive. So you just have to work with what you've got. Now in this particular case we are working with tiles that are 120 so that's four feet by two feet, by 60 centimeters. So are we going this way? Are we going that way? Bearing in mind as well that we've got this courtyard that is gonna run straight into the house and that's a whole connection, bringing it into one dwelling. <laughs> Yeah, so we're going to start at the top of the equipment. 
Perché se dovrebbe essere un animale così, allora non ti vado a seguire da lì. E mi fa tutto apposta, no? Rispettando sempre quello che ho fatto da lì. Well, before I take you to my favorite spot, which is how we connected these two beautiful properties together. Guest bedroom, the window's gone in. This will be an electric window, so you can actually operate through there. Light, I haven't been fitted yet, but look at this fantastic bathroom. No shower tray. Just, you can just wander straight into the shower. Obviously the glass is going to be here, but it's wonderful. You just literally, you just walk in and it's just everything you need. But the thing that made me really excited, but also sleepless nights, complication, which you've seen in episode four, in episode three, in episode two, he was like, how do we make this property one? Look at this. This has now been tiled. And it's just amazing how the whole thing just flows through. But then, look at this. Looking outside the courtyard. Isn't it great? I do really envisage this to be the main entrance of the house. So I do envisage coming through that beautiful gate. Not so beautiful yet. It's actually one of those things that still outstanding because I really want to tile this first and do a stone cornice all the way around and then fit a beautiful metal gate. So when you get there, that's the most important entrance into this beautiful courtyard where you are welcomed by light, but also the view inside your kitchen through the sliding door. As you're coming through, you can actually go straight in and look at this. Privacy because of this mirror effect glass, Ergon gas, 16 mil, but also the main entrance to the house. You may want to go into your master bedroom, which you haven't seen yet. So you come straight through, you've probably been to dinner, come through your courtyard, through there, into your living area, and into the master bedroom. <laughs> Taking my blood pressure. Nerve wracking, nerve wracking a little. If you would have taken my blood pressure, I think it was like oh, yeah, yeah. up there about five minutes ago. You just come through 
And now this wall makes sense with this wonderful flooring. You can imagine sitting there and watching TV. Just a few little finishes, a door taking you into the bathroom and the laundry room, and then the master bedroom. Wow. Great shape, good size bedroom. You can have a bedroom there, wardrobe over across to the other side, which are getting built to measure, but also that space there. Do you remember what's going to happen there? Well, you will see it in episode six, when things are almost there at the end and the doors are fitted. And then the wonderful bathroom, very, very spacious, with a fantastic shower space and an ancient well, which happens to be inside your bathroom. Although the height is not really high, but having a bathroom that allows you to use it without going through into the bedrooms, especially if you've got guests, it's very important. This is exactly what this room did for us. And so we have a basin over here, a toilet over there, but also having an area that is away from the kitchen if you do have the space to do it, where your washing machine can be fitted and probably your dryer as well is very important. So you can imagine this space here where you can have the washing machine, the dryer over there, and still an incredible amount of space over to the other side where you can still have some cabinets, maybe having your ironing board or anything you need really to have comfort within the house. This courtyard was probably one of the biggest challenge right from the beginning. And the reason was because all the water from all the neighboring roofs were actually discharging into this courtyard. Why? Was this something that was probably implemented in, I don't know, ancient time? Or was this something that was done as a result of probably no one using these properties and probably neighbors taking a little advantage? We don't know. What we do know is that during a downpour of rain, this courtyard could become a river. So what did I do? Well, I must say this was a little piece of engineering that needed to be done with a lot of care because the water that is produced on this roof over here was discharging right down here. The water that was produced on that roof over there was discharging right over there. The water that's produced on that roof over there was discharging right over here. And the water that was produced on the roof behind us was discharged right over there. So you can imagine during a downpour of rain you had tons of water, of liters of water coming down from all these adjacent roofs. So what did I do? Well, we got that one crossed over, connected into that one, come down, drilled a hole and went straight outside. So in one single action, we took all the water that came from this side, from adjacent buildings out onto the street. Result. What about the other side? Well, we connected everything coming into one trunk over there, one trunk over here, a junction. We cut the floor open and we actually put it in and took it straight out. So by doing this, we've literally taken all the water that was getting produced on these roofs right on the street to where it should be rather than the courtyard meaning that the only water that will be dropping here is the one that is actually falling from the sky and not millions of liters of water. So very important when you're doing a refurbishment to think about these things because after the project is finished, it could be a little bit complicated to see how you can redirect things. So very important to have that kind of view right from the beginning. Amazing accomplishment here. In episode two, when we were doing the facade, and we act all the plaster, this came through, this was revealed. This was all covered in cement, so you couldn't see the lighting writing. And here we had a, a small window, but then when we took all the cement off, we realized that this was maybe in ancient time, this probably was an entrance. We also found out that this particular part of the building was potentially a church in the 13th, 14th century. So we thought, well, we have an entrance over there, we have an entrance over there. We have windows everywhere, but we need light. So we took advantage of that original frame that was there. As you travel through Italy, you often see the facades of churches, which the wind is actually almost shaped like coral. 
the stone of the facades. That's exactly what happened over here. But this frame that it fits right inside the rebate allows light, but also allows from the street to have this beautiful feature that looks so well next to our Madonna. Such an exciting project. And when it gets to this stage, it really gets exciting. You see the finer details coming together. A few things left going from the courtyard, internal doors and a little few other elements. And then this beautiful place comes together to deliver beauty, comfort, which is one of the most important things when you're refurbishing a property. So ah, from my favorite spot, in this house, the connection spot. I'd like to end this video saying thank you very much for following the channel. Subscribe to the channel, press the little bell, and most important thing, stay safe wherever you are. Mm -hmm.